the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have found in you, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most serious fault. Therefore, I have such a very important all the universe and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for you. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to you all. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ today, lies in my honors, save us. This gospel message, the story of a blind man who was healed in Jericho. A blind beggar has given sight and light. And the friends in Christ, they seldom find the names of the people who were healed in the Bible. But in the story, this person's name was emphasized by the mayor's son of Timaeus. By the mayor's son of Timaeus. But why? There is a special reason for this. That is to show that this person is very important. The meaning of this biblical name means son of honor, son of honor. But here in the story we see the son of honor is now reduced to dust, sitting like a beggar without any honor because of his blindness. At that time, people were considered blindness. It is a punishment from God. There is no dignity. They were crushed. They were pushed away. They were looked down upon. And even they were labeled as cursed people because of sin. It's exactly what can happen to us because of our sin. We are honored people. We are sons and daughters of God. And we are chosen by God for a special purpose. But what happens with sin? Our sin can tarnish that relationship. Our sin can break that connection with God. We become like beggars. We become blind. That's exactly what could happen to all of us because of our sin. But then here, yeah, the blind father is calling towards, shouting towards Lord, saying, Son of David, have mercy on me. He cried. All the more, son of David, have mercy on me, have pity on me. <coughs> Friends in Christ, whenever you are sick, whenever you are scared, whenever you are crushed, broken, whenever you feel that you are done, whenever you don't have any hope, whenever you feel sad, it is important to see these words, Jesus. You are my Messiah, you are my healer, you are my Savior. As a prayer, as a prayer, have faith. When you pronounce these words, Jesus, that is a power, that is a power. That God, that you can make God stop and notice you because there is a power from praising, praising is claiming. That God is above all your problems. That God is bigger than your Goliath. That God is greater than your Red Sea. So you can claim it without murmuring, without grumbling, without complaining. Just praise the Lord. And you have to believe that His name, Jesus, has power who can save you, who can control you, who can solve your problem. So have him as your faith. In Romans chapter 10 verse 10, it said, if you believe in your heart and say it with your mouth, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart and say it with your mouth, and you will be saved.
Thus, I believe in one God, the Father of all mind, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one God, Jesus Christ, one only God, the Son of God, born of the Father, for all ages, God from God, life from the life, God from the Father, the God from the King, the substantial of the Father, through all things In the was inspired to go to Mary and be the man. For our sake, he was crucified and born to his life. He suffered and he was buried. He was in the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in the glory of the church to the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no more. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of life, received from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets, I believe in one Holy Catholic and the Holy Spirit Church. I confess on them reason for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to Christ our Savior and our brother that we may open the eyes of our minds and hearts so that we may like but the manners follow him wholeheartedly. Let us respond to you. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Arthur, Bishop, religious and lady, that they may always remember that their true mission lies in leading those entrusted to their care to Jesus Christ with their salvation. In your mercy, Lord, we are For His Highness, the Amir of Kuwait, Sheikh Mishal al Ahmed al Jabbar al Sabah, His Highness, the Crown Prince, and the Royal Family, for their good health and well being. In your mercy, Lord, we are for the blind in this world, that they may be consoled by the thought that in heaven they will see God face to face. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the handicapped, the lonely, that Christians may show them respect and love. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. For each one of us, that Christ may deliver us all from all kinds of blindness that prevent us from following Him. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. For a lasting peace in those troubled places. In your mercy, Lord, hear our prayer. Bow our heads in silence. Let us pray for our personal foundations before the Lord. Heavenly Father, our source of life, you know our weaknesses. May we reach out to Christ in the confidence of the hand you stretch out to us in Christ your Son, so that we may walk more readily in your ways. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son.
my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his pastoral mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called. A chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own positions, proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without envy a claim. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Francis, our Pope, and all of our bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, the spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have lived through throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, God in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your poses, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us salvation and the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the sons of the Lamb. Lord, 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 Lord,
if you remount our joy at your saving hand and exalt in the name of our God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, be great, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace be seated. Parish announcements. On behalf of our Bishop Father, Holy Family who candidate to welcome since the afternoon tomorrow, Basilos Cardinal please to quit and wish him a happy stay and fruitful interaction with the people. The Grand Rosary will be in the church on Wednesday, 30th October, after the 6.30 p.m. Mass. The intention will be for peace in the Holy Land, Gaza, Lebanon, Ukraine, Yemen, and other war areas. The perpetual Sakha Novena will be before the Mass. The Holy Family Co Cathedral is organizing a pilgrimage to Michigore from 22nd to 29th November of this year. Those interested may inquire, register and make payment in the parish office. The deadline is on October 30th. October 30th is the last day for giving mass intentions for November 1st and 2nd, All Saints Day and All Souls Day respectively. On All Saints Day, the first Friday, 1st November, the English Holy Hour will be from 4.45 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. On All Souls Day, 2nd November, Saturday, the English Masses will be at 6.15 a.m., 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., 4.45 p.m., and 6 p.m. The 4 p.m. Zero Malabar Mass will be in the Holy Family Hall. The 6.30 p.m. Malayalam Latin Mass will be in the Holy Family Hall. The 7.15 p.m. Kankali Mass will be in the Co Cathedral. The 7.15 p.m. Pagalus Mass will be in the Holy Family Hall. 7.30 p.m. Singha the Mass will be in the Virgin Mary Hall. The English Arabic Mass at the Sulaimi Heart Cemetery will be at 4 p.m. All the parishioners are invited to the Bible study from 4th to 7th November, Monday to Thursday, with the 6.30 p.m. Mass until 9.30 p.m. in the church. Attendance is obligatory for all Eucharistic ministers choir members, lectors, pastor, helpers, and catechists. The English marriage preparation course will be from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Fridays, 8th and 15th November, in the Good Shepherd Hall, Holy Family Co Cathedral. For more details and online registrations, please visit the AWONA website. The inter-parish faith quiz on Saturday, October 26th, at 6.30 p.m. will be in our lady of Arabia Parish, Ahmad. Thank you. Now stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. <coughs> May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is centered, go in peace. Christ be to God.